Hey guys, on this vlog, I made this delicious fish and goat meat stew that I really do love. I think I enjoy this combination with rice. So stay tuned to watch the whole process. So the first step I did, I boiled the fish. As you guys can see there, I boiled it just a little bit for like just five minutes to have it soft. And then here I have the goat meat. As you guys can see, this was a live goat that actually was slaughtered. So I like it when it has the skin on it. I just... I, I just do like the goat skin so and then here you know the meat is perfectly boiled uh the water kind of reduced and you know as you're boiling your meat you actually have to season it with cubes and curry powder you can add in some onions which i always do and you can add whatever seasoning you know time just to give it a very very beautiful flavor so here i'm just tasting with my fork to see how soft it is if it's so then i started to fry my fish so the fish is looking good and you know golden looks really nice you just kind of want to fry it just to have that kind of you know golden color to it um this is a very necessary step but you don't have to do it and then i removed the goat meat from the you know water that was boiling it and i'm ready to fry it you have to drain it you know you have to drain the water because it's going to splash all over you and you don't want to burn yourself with oil just make sure you remove all the soup and starts to fry it when it's like almost kind of dry so um that's like the next process here with the meat as well i have to fry it till it's like golden brown that's exactly how i like it can you guys see that it's coming through the color is coming through the browning is coming through i love how it smells so in making this kind of stew that i'm showing you guys you need to blend uh scotch bonnets or whatever chili you like onions and tomatoes like so it gives the stew a very thick sauce which is what you want i don't like runny soup i don't like watery soup it has to be really nice and thick and spicy guys i love spicy food actually the smell of this can choke you but that's exactly how i check to know if it's spicy enough because i can't taste it it's gonna be weird if i tasted raw tomatoes chilies and whatever onions so now that i have my blended mix together i you know in a clean pot i'm ready to do oh 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 don't know what happened there sorry eesh excuse this part i think i was trying to multitask <laughs> So then there, my blended mixture, I put it in the pot. You know, I've already started preheating my pot, which is something I like to do when I'm making stew so that the pot can be hot enough. And you, you guys can see that it's already starting to, you know, boil. And you want to boil this so that the water can dry off before you add your oil and other stuff. And yes, I actually clean and cook at the same time. You guys can see there's no dishes. That's always the case so now you have to cover your pot and leave the mixture to boil until the water is kind of dry and here my rice is already washed and um the tomato sauce is cooking you guys can see it has a lot of water so you want that water to dry down and here uh you can see guys everything is like boiling up the rice is boiling on the side and the tomato sauce is almost like ready so i added my broth from the goat meat that i boiled earlier that's a very very important step because that will actually make your stew very very nice it will taste really nice because you know that's like a sauce of uh you know it's just like a source of extra sweetness and you know the flavors are just going to kick in so i added my oil and then i will just leave it to like kind of boil a little bit more with the oil yeah and then i'm adding one extra cube this is a beef cube you can add whatever cube of your choice but since this is goat meat and fish beef cube is the best and over there the rice is coming through yes i can't wait so then you're just going to stir your stew and you have to leave it for another couple of minutes um so that the seasoning can soak in and the soup and the oil before you add in your meat just let it be like cover it for like two three minutes and then i'm going to add in my tomato paste which is going to give it a nice beautiful reddish color and make it even extra thick so do not ever make your stew without adding tomato paste that's like something very essential yeah okay. um 
so then you want to stir up uh the whole thing the whole mix because you want you know um everything to just mix up really well and that's what i'm doing here um so yes just keep stirring your mix leave it up for a couple of minutes like maybe two three minutes so that you know the seasonings can soak in really well before you add your meat remember we fried our fish at the beginning so this kind of stew doesn't really require you to cook for very long once the um you know the whole stew is thickened up and well seasoned i grab my meat you guys can see the fried meat is looking really good you want to put the uh fried meat inside your stew and guys this is like where i get really excited you want it to cook for a few minutes just let's say like five minutes because if you leave it for longer than five minutes the fish is going to break and your stew is going to be messy so just like that guys we are almost coming to the end of this you leave it there for a few minutes cover it up uh, you want the meat to steam a little bit so that the seasoning can, you know, kind of um, soak into the meat and boom, you guys, can you see that? This is like five minutes later. Wow. It's red. It's thick. It's beautiful. It's not too oily. It's not too soupy. It's actually really good. And here, guys, our rice. This is basmati rice. I love basmati rice. You guys can see it came out really perfectly. In Swahili, we say, ilitokea moja moja. So yeah guys so now this is the end of it guys we are going to now dish our food i'm showing you guys the stew one last time and oh my god and then i plated it up i have some apple juice on the side and i have my water and boom guys by the time i was done cooking this food i was very very tired so i didn't really eat much but you guys can see can you see that can you see that this is white material this is white material white me look at that guys oh what an amazing stew what an amazing food if you want to learn more recipes i'm going to keep dropping them and here i am done eating i cleared my plate like the glutinous bitch that i am <laughs> see you guys next time bye would you please wrap